they'd been dating for a few months already, but there was a particular moment when sources close to the couple say that Meghan Markle knew that Prince Harry was the one. An excerpt from the book Harry, Life, Loss and Love by journalist and royal expert Katie Nichol details how the couple had to hide out when the press got wind of their relationship. Like his brother, Harry enjoyed outfoxing the media, and while he was disappointed the story had broken, he knew he was lucky to have enjoyed several months getting to know Meghan without press scrutiny, she writes in an excerpt published by Vanity Fair. When the story broke, Harry happened to be with Meghan in Toronto, Meghan apparently suggested they stayed with some of her friends, Ben and Jessica Mulroney, whose social media account Meghan has previously featured, in a bid to hide from the press. More, London Baker to make Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding cake, and this is what it will look like The Mulroneys were two of the few friends who knew about the romance, and they were more than happy to let the couple take shelter from the paparazzi at their Toronto house. Jessica, a stylist, is one of Meghan's best friends, while Ben is a TV host who presents CTV's entertainment news program e Talk, she writes. However it was the way that Prince Harry was a big hit with their three children, twins Brian and John, and four-year-old daughter, Isabel, that won Meghan over. When Harry came to visit the family he brought a bag filled with gifts. He won the kids over in an instant. He was brilliant with them and I think what swung it for Meghan was how good Harry was with them. Katie reveals. I actually think that might have been the moment Meghan really fell for Harry. He got to know the Mulroneys quite well, and they liked Harry from the beginning. However, when the news finally hit the papers, Harry had to issue a statement to the press to confirm the romance and asked the press and paparazzi to stop hounding Meghan and the rest, to coin a phrase, is royal wedding history. Words, Sarah Finley